Hello everyone and welcome back to New Star Life Ministries. Thank you so much for staying tuned with us. We are on chapter 39, page 465. And I want to share something before we pray. As I was reading this next paragraph, I was like, wow. Satan wants to imitate God so much that he even wants to imitate his spirit. And we right now have the chance to ask for the Holy Spirit and to listen to when God is showing us something through his word, through unctions of the Holy Spirit, and through providential workings. So let's take heed and let's obey when God talks to us. Amen. And let's make sure that God is speaking to us and not the evil one, because he will try to use his magnetic designs upon us in these last days. So, going into the reading now, let's have a word of prayer first. Father in heaven, write these words on our hearts. We are not just saying it because you said it in your word. We are not just saying it because it sounds good, but we are saying it because we know that it's true and because it's in your word. So, Father, help us to trust in you. Help us to say these words because we have faith in your word. Help us, Lord, and cleanse us by the precious blood of Jesus Christ as we read in Jesus' name. Amen. And it goes on to read, when God's presence was finally withdrawn from the Jewish nation, priests and people knew it not. Though under the control of Satan and swayed by the most horrible and malignant passions, they still regarded themselves as the chosen of God. The menstruation in the temple continued. Sacrifices were offered upon its polluted altars, and daily the divine blessing was invoked upon a people guilty of the blood of God's dear son and seeking to slay his ministers and apostles. So when the irrevocable decision of the sanctuary has been pronounced and the destiny of the world has been forever fixed, the inhabitants of the earth will know it not. The forms of religion will be continued by people from whom the Spirit of God has finally withdrawn. And the satanic zeal with which the prince of evil will inspire will bear the semblance of zeal for God. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. God be with you until we meet again.